Hey guys, and today I know I look a little weird right now. I just woke up, so my hair is kind of crazy. Um, but I wanted to show you guys um, how I make my gel liners, and this is how pigmented they are. Um, it's just a little swatch, but um, gel liners you can make at home, and I know they can get a little expensive. So, I have some little ways that you can make your own gel liner. So, you're going to need a couple of things. And before I start, I want to say that the base ingredient for this can be many different things. So, you can choose between them. Now, one of them could be aloe vera gel. Um, this stuff is nice and smooth, and it's just a gel base for your primer. Next thing can be glycerin. This is a very good option because it'll probably last a little longer if you use glycerin. You can use Vaseline jelly, which will probably give it a thicker consistency. And the next thing you guys can use is a, either a primer. You can also use any kind of oil you like. I recommend jojoba oil because it's lighter. But you guys can even use like coconut oil because it's thicker. Um, you guys can even use Visine eye drops or a gel primer of your choice. So, I'm going to be using these three things because um, I don't want to waste all those other products with it. Next thing you're going to need is a stirring stick. This is the back of a paintbrush. Some eyeshadow pigments. These are ones that I don't use pretty much at all. Um, some of them might be a little helpful, like this brown one and these like more browny ones, because um, I like those nude colors. And these are actually pretty good, con pretty good eyeshadow pigments. They're pretty opaque. Um, it's just an Avon palette um, that my friend gave me, but I never really used it. Next, you're going to need a little tray to work on, and of course a little container to put it in. Now this is completely optional, but it's definitely going to make it a lot easier, and that's a warm pestle. This is going to make it a lot easier, but if you guys want, you can just stir really, really well with your stir stick. Um, but I got this for Christmas because I always see people using these on YouTube to make their stuff, and I'm like, hey, I want one of those. I just got it at my local home goods, and this one's a little tiny one. So starting out, of course, you're going to want to scrape your eyeshadows out from your palette into your tray. Um, but I've already scraped a little, but I can scrape a little bit more. And if you guys have loose pigments, of course, just put them. You probably need to, you don't you could probably just skip this entire process. Now what I would say is to crunch it up with the back of your stirring stick to make the pigments nice and smooth. Um, but now I'm actually just putting it into my mortar and pestle. And just in case you're wondering, the tray that I'm using, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my earlier videos, but this is actually the cap to one of my deco dens uh, things. There, it's all in there. And this one's a little bit shimmery, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I don't think the shimmers will show as much once you mix all the ingredients together it a little closer so you guys can see right under there. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my aloe vera gel, and I'm only adding a little bit. And usually I would say with aloe vera gel to have one that's more natural, um, but in this case I want one that's a little bit less natural because the less natural ones have more expansion. 
gum in them, which, if you guys don't know what that is, they thicken up the consistency of your, um, any product, it'll thicken it up. So, I'm just going to mix the two together really, really well. Now you could just leave it like this. That's what it looks like. Now, and I like to use my stirring stick to kind of scrape it off. Now, you can leave it like this or add more, whatever you guys would like. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my glycerin. You guys can use vegetable glycerin as well, but I'm just adding a couple drops. about you guys, but glycerin has quite the weird smell to it, so your eyeliner might smell like glycerin by the end of it. And lastly, I'm just going to add in my petroleum jelly, and only like about that much. And obviously, after adding all these products to it, you're probably going to want to add in more eyeshadow so that you have more pigments. And what the mortar and pestle does, it just really mixes the products really, really well together. Um, again, it's very optional. You can always just mix really, really well with your stirring stick. But yeah. Okay, so now that I've added all these products, I'm now going to take my stirring stick, or in my case it's a scraper stick, and I'm just going to scrape out more shadow. Well, cloud eyeshadow everywhere. Okay. And now you're gonna put it into your little container. So I'm gonna put something like a little surface, which I should have said you guys needed, by the way. I'm just gonna put it right here. I don't make a big mess. Now I'm going to take my stick And the next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to take the whole thing and try and get as much off of it as possible.
And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to scrape out. All of that. So that's just about how much I can get off. And it's not a lot of product. That's the only downer to the mortar and pestle is that you're not going to get a lot of product because you're like literally spreading it all throughout it. But <clears throat> I'm going to go get a tissue and demonstrate how you can get it all out. My tissue. And I'll. Oh, that later. So just taking the tissue gonna scrape it off of there. and into your container. Now that I've gotten it all over myself, <coughs> I'm going to demonstrate what it looks like. That's how pigmented it is. Like That's pretending like I did a wing on myself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Sorry, I'm going to be really bad because I don't have a mirror in front of me. Um, um see if I can do this. I'm going to have a, some on my forehead. really bad at doing it so this isn't even an eyeliner brush um, it's like a paintbrush that I have never used because I don't I, 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 if I were at my mom's house I'd be using my angled eyeliner brush but since I'm at my dad's house I don't have that Yeah, it's really bad.
well, that's what my eyeliner looks like. And as you can see, it is pretty pigmented. I wouldn't normally wear this. Um, I would probably just wear whatever. Um, but I thought maybe you guys want to know how to make your own um, eyeliner. Here's an up close look. that's what it looks like. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.